I'm Jamie Court, President of Consumer Watchdog. The Kathy Olson Patient Empowerment Project, or COPE, helps families harmed by medical negligence and restores justice for injured patients in California. The project is named in honor of Chula Vista native Kathy Olson, whose son Stephen lost his sight and became brain damaged because of medical negligence at the age of two. Their family then discovered that an antiquated California law limited Stephen's recovery in court for his lifetime of disability. Kathy joined Consumer Watchdog's board to fight for greater accountability and patient protections. After her untimely death in 2015, her husband Scott Olson took her place on the board of directors to carry on the fight, and we created the COPE project in her name. As a Kathy Olson patient advocate for Consumer Watchdog, I work to give a voice to families who have suffered medical negligence across California. The U.S. has a higher maternal mortality rate than any developed country, and the Central Valley region of California has the highest maternal mortality rate in the state. I was helping another family in Bakersfield when I learned about the case of Demi Dominguez and her son, Malachi De Leon, who both died preventable deaths in 2019. Demi Dominguez's family says Dominguez was in a very happy place. After losing her father two years ago, she was finally doing better. They say she had a bright future ahead with her fiance and soon to be born baby boy. Dominguez was 32 weeks into her pregnancy when she started feeling ill and decided to go into Mercy Hospital where she saw Dr. Arthur Park. But the family says medical staff didn't do what was necessary to treat Dominguez, resulting in her and her baby's death. The families wanted accountability and justice, but they didn't know where to start or what to do. So I started going up to Bakersfield to work with Xavier, his mom Monique, and Demi's mom, Tracy. The first step was to file consumer complaints, but we soon learned the state was allowing repeat offender doctors to continue practicing with little to no restriction. I decided to work with a family to organize a campaign, Bakersfield Families Call to Action, to educate families about maternal negligence, the medical negligence cap, and how to advocate for yourself and your families. The virtual campaign received notice from their elected officials and the local news. Now the online call to action posted by Consumer Watchdog has a lot of attention from families all over Bakersfield. I helped them share their story with the Medical Board of California and the Osteopathic Medical Board of California, which oversees doctors in the state. They committed to testifying at every single meeting. The board began to take notice of this place called Bakersfield and the outcry from families. I then worked with them to testify during a sunset review. The sunset review is a really big deal because it only happens every four years and that's when the legislators and senators get together to review the medical board and I believe the osteopathic board to really see what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. The medical board is failing families. I blame the medical board for the death of my daughter and grandson. Thank you, ma'am. We're very, very sorry for your loss. I know it's very difficult to talk about, but I want you to know that we do appreciate your testimony today. Our first project together was working on a ballot initiative to update a law that restricted how much medical providers could be sued for negligence and prevented families from seeking justice and accountability in court. Because of California's 45-year law, families like mine can't get justice when medical negligence causes the death of a baby. The ballot initiative's momentum, with the power of these family stories behind it, pushed our opponents to reach an agreement in the legislature to update the law and avoid going to the voting booth. We held a press conference at Consumer Watchdog. Although legislation will not help my family, I know that it will help so many other families, and I find comfort in knowing that my son played a big part in making change for others. Governor Newsom signed AB 35 into law a few months later. The measure will raise the amount of money patients can receive in medical malpractice cases. After pressing both medical boards for years on this issue, one of Demi's doctors surrendered his medical license and an accusation was filed against the license of her other doctor. A doctor accused of negligence after the death of 23-year-old Demi Dominguez will have his license suspended. That's according to the state medical board. 
The family's advocacy persuaded the medical board to hold their quarterly board meeting in Bakersfield for the first time and hold its first ever hearing on maternal mortality. The mothers and even the mayor and county supervisor could tell the board what a public health issue this is in this community. We then had another victory in the legislature with AB 815, which reformed the medical board to give patients more of a voice. The bill makes various changes to the board's operation and creating a complainant liaison unit, adjusting the evidentiary standard in some cases, and tightening the enforcement timelines to improve board efficiency and reduce expenses, among other changes. Eyes 32, nose 1, the measure passes. I worked with the families and their local representative to establish Latina Maternal Health Awareness Month in Kern County, an opportunity to raise awareness about health needs for expectant mothers. It is my great privilege today to acknowledge to you that the Board of Supervisors County of Kern, State of California has officially proclaimed May 2022 as Latina Maternal Health Awareness Month in Kern County. A couple of years later, May became officially recognized as Latina Maternal Health Awareness Month throughout California. We started programming which included an annual Latina Maternal Health Fair bringing information and resources to mothers and families in Kern County for three years now. This has truly been a people-powered movement. Families should not have to work this hard to make our regulatory boards accountable to the public, but this is what it takes to make the system safer for other families. I'm so proud of Tracy, Xavier, and Monique and all the families I work with. They have persevered through so much pain, they have honored Demi's and Malachi's legacies, and they have achieved so much as a team with our other families to give Californians more rights and make sure the system is more equitable for all families. With your support, COPE will help families navigate the health care, insurance, and regulatory systems to better protect their families. It will train patients to speak publicly and share their stories with decision makers to affect regulatory and legislative change. It will educate patients about their health care rights and create the resources they need to be their own health care advocates. And it will help people advocate for stronger patient rights through oversight reform at the Medical Board of California and other state regulatory agencies. Do it for Kathy Olson.